to the beginning. We all come to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. And the trick is not to end up as either. But trapped by the genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. This is not the story I hoped it would be. This is not the ending I wanted. This story will eat us alive. This story is a monster. And monsters wear many faces. Okay, we're a naked man. Hello, and uh, welcome to Alan Wake 2. Jeez. I need... <laughs> Can I show butt on YouTube? Do I need to... Put something over that? I think I need to put something over that. He could be crazy, you know. I can't fault them. Naked and along the woods now. Flashes of Alan. Brent, why would you say that? What's behind me? Uh oh. Not really a sprint. Like a Hurried hobble. Damn. the light. 
might take a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, Mom, it's not your fault people get all murdery. What happened? Just work stuff. Right. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers. I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. Did they reboot it? I love you both. I thought they canceled this that. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you too. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan. I will. Oh, Bye, kiddo. Yeah. Oh, Max Payne himself. <laughs> Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where Wait. she gets that from. AC. Like Alex Casey. Wait a minute. <laughs> it can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. Hmm. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Okay. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. Here we are. Cauldron Lake. Time to get to work. Your name, Alex? Is this a book? Is this an Alex Casey book? Maybe it is, and Alan forced them. A deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car, so where's the deputy? <laughs> Eaten by a bear? I'll check out that map. Good one. Turn one, invitation. Maybe Alan wrote them into real life by making another book. This Before book, currently, that things. we're living. Before we get swallowed up by the trees. Oh, I got a map. And I'm on PlayStation. I only have a 1070. That wouldn't run this game well. Car. For location. Legged path. Rental cabins. The general store. The witch's hut. Witch's hole. <laughs> Ladle. <laughs> I thought that said hole. Rosefoot, Cauldron Lake Shore, 
Streamside Witch Finder Station. Camping site. Picnic site. That one. Phoenix spot for a picture. Oh. Huh? Charm slots let you equip charms to enhance Saga. Saga's abilities. Her name is Saga. Only charms can be equipped in the charm slot. Crazy. Oh, my inventory. I have 12 bullets. In the gun and outside of the gun. Standard issue FBI sidearm. Semi-automatic with low recoil and moderate stopping power. Items. Charm bracelets. Bracelet made by Logan for her mother. <coughs> Has hooks to attach charms to. Ah. Flashlight. A standard issue FBI flashlight. Okay. Uh, can't pull it out? No? Oh, They're in Washington. You have a shotgun from the back? No? Okay. <coughs> <coughs> Alright, Casey, let's go. Hey! Over here! Down the path and not over there, hey there. where we could see Agent you. Casey, right? Sheriff Breaker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson. Saga Anderson. I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Motherfuckers. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I, I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that. You know, that, uh... When are those damn feds gonna show up, Mulligan? Federal agent's right here, Thornton. My partner, Thornton, <laughs> down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Right here? What do you mean? Are they with you? Oh, shit! They didn't hear me, did they? Uh... What can Very you tell best. us about the crime scene? Tell them about the heart. I was getting to that. Gordon. It's weird that the first line wasn't over the radio. Well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be, well, you know, inside. Typically, where they are, yeah. Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out of towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night. I mentioned the city folk. It's pretty suspicious. Not that we have anything against city folk, right, Thornton? But don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took them back to town a while ago. I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure. That's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store. You can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. Hey, Mulligan, tell them I'm here, wait me. I'll show them around. They got it, Thornton. Thanks. Now later, Mulligan. Before we get to the crime scene, there's time to review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. The mine place. My version of the mine palace technique. To sift through clues and work the case. Building the mine place again for each case. Using each field office as a model in my head. Okay. The facts are on the board. Everything we know about the previous murders. Worth taking another look. The case board is a mental technique that allows Saga to analyze clues and progress the investigation. Uh, no. 
make a move. Uh, you're now free to inv uh, navigate the case board or leave by pressing circle. Okay. A series of murders have occurred around town, around the town of Bright Falls. Fi uh, finding the connections will help our search for the killer. Murder method. Light, uh, slight differences in murders. Bloating only, uh, bloating, bloating only commonality in bodies, uh, but not cause of death. Death trauma. Exposure to water. Postmortem. Two of the victims had bruising, uh, had bruising, some form of restraint, wrapped or belted down. Uh, most recent victim died of a major, of major chest trauma consisting with 2018 victim. Hard to f uh, confirm due to condition of body. Loading of corpses is indicative of drowning, but only one victim was found in water. Victims, all victims reported missing in 2010. No other commonalities. Victim was reported missing in 2010, discovered in 2012, buried in a shallow grave. Head lane, dentist, stab wounds, bloating. Davis, teacher, body bloated, large chest wound. Uh, found in Cauldron Lake, 2018. Some organs missing. Uh, predation. State of body does not match eight spent in the lake. And Percy Wolf, store owner, bruising, heart removed, strange tattoos. Found two weeks ago, chest wound was ruled as cause of death. Tattooing on body is illegible. Killer profile. Post-mortem tattooing of body. Victim number three was covered in illegible tattoos. A message from the killer, a message from the killer maybe, or their art. Uh, apart from going missing in 2010, the victims have nothing apparent in common. Killer may be a sportsman or a hunter. They all go missing in 2010. He was discovered in 2012, buried in a shallow grave. He was found in 2018 and died two weeks. Saw him, we were playing as him. He came out of the lake, so I assume the other two came out of the lake. Come out at different times. I had two years in there, and we had eight. Percy here, I assume if it's this game is set in 20, uh, 2023. Percy had 23 years in the lake? Jesus. Okay. Well, look at the map in here. More maps we need to find. Anything else I can do in here? Goals? What's with goals? Ah, oh, okay. Get to the crime scene, meet with deputy. Pistols. Zoom in. I see you're already oh. hard at work, Anderson. Close to cracking it. We're just getting started. Let's head down the hill to the crime scene. Hmm. So the game doesn't pause when I'm in there. Fucking nature gives me a headache. It's too much sky. Hold on. I turn off the motion blur. <laughs> Uh, graphics, boom, film grain. Hold on, let me see. Whoop.
<laughs> off. Hey, Casey. You putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective than I am. You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm-hmm. Real funny, Anderson. Pride Falls record. Chaos at Cauldron Lake. Rampage at rental cabins. Unidentified man attacks vacationers in the dead of night. Sunday, an idyllic evening of barbecue and late night fishing was violently disrupted Saturday as a mysterious assailant attacked park visitors, causing chaos and destruction at the cabins. The incident left three people injured, one of which had been admitted to the county hospital. As to whether the attacker is still at large, Wright Falls Police have yet to make an official statement, leaving local residents in a state of uncertainty. Witnesses to the crime were visibly shaken, one of whom stated, One minute we were laughing and toasting some marshmallows, the next we heard screaming coming up from the cabins. We didn't know what was going on, so we called the police and started running in the opposite direction, said Kurt Mill. Another eyewitness, who preferred to remain anonymous, said, It's like it happened... It, uh, it's like he appeared out of nowhere. Suddenly, my dog started barking his head off, and this psycho guy comes crashing through the street... Uh, uh, the trees... Uh, don't think I'll ever feel safe in the forest again. A representative uh, from the rental cabins who chose to remain anonymous wanted to remain, uh, remind customers, if you have plans to stay in our lovely cabins later this summer, please get in touch with us as we may need to rejigger some of the reservation uh, reservations based on the state of the cabins that have been rented with us. That you have rented with us. <clears throat> The representative went on to further remind future and potential guests of the wonderful amenities that can be found in their company's brochures and on the website, which is real nice, state-of-the-art. My nephew made it. <laughs> He's a real computer whiz. Okay. <clears throat> Does a hike a day keep depression away? It might be bright, sunny July, but it's never too soon to start worrying about the gloomy months of autumn ahead. That's right, in the grand scheme of life, those dead depressing days just around the corner are just around the corner. Have you been taking your vitamin D? Probably not. But for all of uh for all of you thinking, there's gotta be another way. There's good news. Hiking has been proven to be incredibly beneficial to your mental and emotional health. So get on <laughs> So get on out there and do it. Just don't forget a flashlight in case it gets dark. Redfall's own virtual banking champ. Little Sally Upton's family finally erupted into cheers when she won the big match this weekend. Was she playing soccer? Tennis? No. In this brave new world that we live in, her family was cheering her on as she won a match in a game that exists only on the information superhighway. The game in question was Mega... Mega Baking Star. Did I say banking? Baking. It is baking. <laughs> Mega Baking Star. Uh, in which players complete to make the tastiest uh, treats and sweet and sweetest eats from their virtual judges uh, for their virtual judges online. Right Falls congratulates Sally on her big win. Missing Doberman found on the trail. A heartfelt reunion took place this weekend when Mrs. Amanda Smith was reunited with her beloved dog Coffee Bean. Aww. CB, as the owner refers to him, has been missing for three days, and Mrs. Smith was afraid that she would never see her best friend again. When I got the call, I couldn't believe my ears, said. I must have, uh, must have asked, am I dreaming? At least seven or eight times. It's actually nine, it was actually nine times, confirmed, uh, confirmed Rager Stevenson, the man responsible for finding the wayward canine. It's rare that you get to give those kinds of calls, and I feel real grateful to have that uh, have the opportunity. What with all the predators out there, usually you're telling folks that you found their dogs dead, uh, found their dogs dead, their cats eaten, you know. Uh, so it felt real good to give some good news, even if Coffee Bean is in kind of rush, uh, kind of rough shape. Uh, the fur will grow back, uh, sure, but well, I suppose that's all I should say about that. What happened to that dog? Wait, I got no. Options in the corner. 
cool. Sorry, Casey, I was reading in the newspaper. Starting fires is prohibited. Please do not feed the wildlife. Leave no trace. Yeah, clean up after yourselves. Stairs are out. You okay to jump down? I'm not that old. Huh. Oh. <gasps> ah. Your peak. The mighty mountain in the distance is none other than Mirror Peak, the iconic landmark overlooking Cauldron Lake. From the right angle, its beauty will be reflected on the calm surface of the lake, seared in all its inverted glory. I was being on. That one's a little weird. Is it like that in one? I don't think so. It feels weird to me. Not a bad place to get murdered. Hmm. If getting back to nature is your thing. Nothing. Damn. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? Hmm. <laughs> if they did, next coffee's on me. What about over here? <clears throat> it's a payphone. Uh, at the murder site. I did not want to swap. At the general store. Hey! Oh, we saw you. Deputy Thornton, I take it. That's me, at your service, ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind the store. Come on, I'll show you. So, FBI, huh? That's so cool. Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob. You forgot the UFO cover-ups. What? Those are real? You guys hiring? Let's just see this body, shall we? Now this is the scene of the crime. We found him on the table. Now he didn't touch nothing, you know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, His weenie's definitely. out. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay. Uh. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the MO of the previous murders? <laughs> okay, so it was a different Step day. one. Examine the corpse. Mr. Wolf is a different man. Right here. Uh. Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. You have unlocked your first key image. You can place it on the case board inside the mine palace. Is it empty now? Uh, allows Saga to activate clues. The key image can be selected with X and placed on the case. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? Another body is found in the woods near Bright Falls. Perfect timing. Need to see if this is linked to the killings uh, we're here to investigate. Seems like it. Prompt a new question. Uh-huh. 
objectives are viewable on the case board in your goals. to find three pieces of evidence. Oh no, two and three, just footprints. To look at the body more. Hearts out. Okay. Oh, well, he's bound. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. Chest wound. Inside stab wound. Chest cut open. Heart removed. Heart out. The killer left the heart right next to the body. Trauma. Heart out. Heart removed from chest, strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. This makes four murders that we know about. Hmm? Those have been resolved an open question and unlocked a deduction. As you advance the investigation, new questions will be unlocked, updating your goals. And know who the victim is and know who the killers are. Killer or killers. Multiple. You saw it happen. Talk to someone. Find evidence. Who is our victim? They're like a nudity thing. <laughs> uh, audio. That should be. Who killed him? The... Need to find more clues. Large amount of blood on the table. The victim died here. Must have to hurt myself. Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. Ooh. He came to town about 13 years ago. Now, I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. Nightingale. Robert Nightingale? Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. Hmm. Okay, well, we have... Robert Knight film. Yes. Was Forgot. he killed here or brought here after? For display. I guess that's um what's her face's name? What was her name in the first one? Officer lady. Someone was drinking beer. They spent time here. Waiting. Someone left in a hurry. Knocked the tripod over. Was it for a camera? We don't know. 
for later. Died of died there. Put that there. They really made a mess here, caught up in the act. Or just sloppy work. The uh, footprints will let us know that it's multiple. Multiple people. Multiple people were here. Multiple killers? Maybe. Boot prints indicating multiple killers. Quite the party. Multiple assailants present. Uh, messy scene. Crime of passion. Be meditated. Hmm. <laughs> So you knew our victim. Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. What happened after he got fired? So what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze, booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head, chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. But no happy ending. Missing since 2010. Nightingale went missing 13 years ago, 2010. The same as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Probably something this town wants to forget. Can you join uh, control? That's basically Robert what they were. Ex-FBI came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. <coughs> Former FBI agent, mental state, questionable at the time of disappearance. At least that's what seemed like they were hinting at. Uh, uh, yeah. He meditated, maybe. What if someone else left that early in the day? They planned for the murder to happen here. Passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. Why here? Why now? Profiling. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. You you can use profiling inside Saga's mind place uh, mind place to get inside the heads of uh, uh, suspects and victims. Using her intuition, Saga can discover new clues by profiling people of interest. Was missing. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. Whoa. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Click the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. But somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. And Nightingale a component. 
They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. Hmm. Well, she got all that out of doing this. From the lake. I, I can feel that Nightingale came from the lake, but why now? 13 years? Been. Not from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. Take the lake shore, huh? The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Right. Well, okay. Well, I'll just, uh, I'll just wait here. You do that, Gordon. Probably have to kill you and your partner. Get shadowfied. This one of your hunches, Anderson? Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction. From the lake. Probably looking for shelter. Safety. They were waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. It's not that complicated. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night, possibly nude. The killers knew he was here, ambushed him, dragged him to the campgrounds, strapped him to the table, cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. The job is unfinished. And that seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? Haven't figured that part out yet. Mm-hmm. Lots of questions. Lots of answers for us to find. I didn't know trees got that big. Gives me the creeps. You need to get out more. It is kind of creepy, though. Through the tree? No, there's just something here. There's a piece of paper on the ground. Uh, okay. Tracks. Barefoot. Nightingales? They come out from under the boulder. It makes no sense. A page full of text on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm-hmm, like a manuscript. A page of a story. Hmm, killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, Reading the, the words. words. These words felt like a message. Felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An invitation. How could they not accept? Even if they knew it would end up hurting them. Someone's been watching us. Playing a sick game with us. You were right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. Hmm. That one. <clears throat> he left it. Uh-huh, one of their own. Gone missing 13 years ago. Now he had suddenly turned up, only to be murdered in a brutal and bloody ritual. The very day of their arrival. And then there was a page. This page. The first page they had found. Not the last. <clears throat> first step down into the terrifying depths. Secret truths trembling beyond the threshold. Being these words felt like a message. Someone knew that they were here. They were doing. They were playing. Huh, huh, that was, huh. Not except. The audacity of the impossible mystery presented to them. Even if they knew it would end up hurting them. Okay. The Mile High Strangler case. Proud of that one. Oh.
naked. Her foot at least. All gone cold. I think he came from the lake. But his tracks make no sense. We'll put that boulder in the way. The words, these words felt like a message. Doesn't say for later, so I guess it goes. Anything else here? No. Page. Are the killers watching us? Game on. I should profile Nightingale about this page. Oh, okay. The page. We found a page in the woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside, the awful truth. He must dig it out. Something was put inside him, in his chest. I must find out what. Hmm. That's why they were digging around. Why the killers were like, well, where is it? This the rest of it always cheers me up. Not the worst one. Can't go this way. Uh, go the other way. that <clears throat> the right direction not really I'll be back in a second Roger I'm gonna check out the hut why not the witch's hut I think I saw something it'll only take a minute Always here. Here lived the witch of Cauldron Lake. Beware, her spirit may still haunt this place. Is that a reference to the song? not more shit over here though Friday Midge Midge told me uh, today that her family's moving away this sucks I haven't even told her that I like her yet what's the point anymore she said her parents uh, want to get better jobs and to get her a better school in the big city. I guess that's fair. Who wants to stay in bright fucking falls? Sunday. So I told her. She said thanks. Fucking kill me. <laughs> Monday. I snuck out last night again. I went to the big house on the uh, by the lake. Instead of just watching it from here, like I always do, instead of just sitting around like I always do, screw that. Uh, anyway, something weird is going on down there. I'm going to find out what. I'm going to go back there tomorrow with a better gear. 
I bet I can find a way inside the building. Take some photos. It's gonna be epic. Wow. House. Uh, house by the lake. Not Is like that in the a middle. Kids lunchbox. Is it? Where? That's a cooler. Batteries? Flashlight? How do I open that again? Triangle. Battery bag. Batteries for charging the flashlight. Cool. Is this what you're talking about? Yeah, okay. An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. Casey hates the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective. He hates those cheesy crime books, but he really hates the movies. Okay, so fake Alex Casey and this Alex Casey or <coughs> aren't the same person. I know things can get a little crazy around here, but if you ever if you're ever feeling scared, just remember that Alan is watching over us. Manuscript fragment. Manuscript fragments can be used to upgrade weapons in the mine place. Yeah. <laughs> how the fuck? How do, how do they do that? And I have one. This costs... More bullets cost 12. Another headshot. Land two headshots in quick succe succession to stun an enemy for an extended duration. That also costs 12. Again and again. Hold the fire button to activate auto fire mode. This significantly increases the rate of fire. Well, a lot more fragments. Upgrade over there. This area. Let's go back to Casey. Did you get lost, Anderson? No. I'll look around. See you in a bit. Take your time. <gasps> Come on. This way. I want to walk around for a minute. You know where to find me. Not allowed to go to the lake? Can't go any further. Water's too deep. Okay. Sure. Just heading back to the body? Boulder gets in our way and uh, that's it. Hey, fuck it. I guess so. stuck in any of those big puddles crazy flooding down there huh just like I said yeah go 
over here. I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Locked. They really don't want people coming in here. What about in the store? Got another gate. Looks like a fence. Oh, it's a gate. Got a code and everything. Hello, this is Agent Anderson and Agent Casey, FBI. We'd like to come in and ask a few questions pertaining to an investigation. Nice talking to you, too. Hey. Federal Bureau of Control. A creepy twig sculpture? Wonder what's inside. Confused. Follow. I should take a look around for a way to open this thing. Follow these steps. Wash your hands. Take the chicken out of the fridge. Take a nap. One, two, three, four, five, seven, ten voices. Bathroom nearby. Hey there, Mr. Deer. You remind me of a dream I had. Okay, so down up is two. Up down is one. Up down, down up, left right. Down. like that one that looked like that at all like an hourglass oh, wait there this is blind Don't take anything if you aren't one of the trees. Well, fuck you. Call me a tree then. Uh, this trauma pad. Adhesive bandage restores a good amount of health. A healing item? Good. Let this be a warning to fellow trespassers. They say the lake is a caldera, something formed by uh, by an erupting volcano, or the sinkholes it leaves in its wake. But what if that's not true? What if it's something else, something less natural and more man-made? Intentional? 
I say the lake's not formed, it's designed, and it has a purpose. Lake is a hiding place. Beneath the calm surface lies a secret machinery ready to be activated at the press of a button. And the people with the button, they're in that big house by the lake, preparing. I know it. Uh, first drawing, water line. Real caldera, uh, real and uh, caldera is made from a volcano, lava. Second drawing, water line, engineering structure, range machine. Cool. Bureau's here, trying to control this shit, you know? Big house. By the lake. Won't let us in. Understandable. Hey, Casey. What's the forest favorite shape? Please, Anderson. Just one case without the redu- A triangle. I don't get it. Yes, you do. Don't play stupid, Casey. You got it. It was terrible, but... You understood it. They left a lot of garbage. Not the fastidious type. Oh. Monday. Some suspicious activity spotted. The fielders thought he saw movement in the bushes. Uh, footprints around the area were found, but some were uh, comprom compromised by the fielder. Note to self, train the fielder. Tuesday, August 4th. Nothing to report, some animals. Regular. Wednesday, the 5th. Hunters uh, out after dark. Poachers? Heard some gunshots. Not one of ours. Gotta keep an eye on these people. Could get more than they bargained for out there. I'll be back in a second. Roger. Roger.